COVID surge has local doctors urging the public to use common sense and be safe if planning to be in large crowds, especially to ring in the new year. Brad Broders is live downtown on Beale Street, which is having its New Year's Eve celebration despite the surge. Uh, Brad, there's also a Grizzlies game tonight. Will there be any precautions taking place? Well, there are a lot of people starting to assemble here on Beale Street in downtown Memphis. Richard, organizers of the New Year's Eve ball drop later this evening are strongly encouraging everyone wear masks both indoors and outdoors, and they're also encouraging attendees consider any underlying health conditions. Doctors in the Memphis area are also weighing in if you're considering heading here tonight or smaller gatherings as we ring into the new year going into 2022 with this pandemic raging at like no other time before. For. New Year's Eve is fun, but your health is your health is forever. This is where our social responsibilities come in. That's the message from area doctors on this New Year's Eve, where the stage is set for this downtown Memphis gathering, but also the same time a record high in Shelby County is infected with COVID, fueled largely by the highly contagious Omicron variant. So the numbers are increasing substantially, significantly, exponentially. Doctors suggested unvaccinated people, which make up half of Shelby County's total population, avoid large crowds for New Year's and advise those protected still mask up indoors or outdoors. You're better off if you're around people that you know are fully vaccinated and boosted, but that still isn't a guarantee. So people have to think about that and just and, and be safe. St. Francis Dr. Beth Choby plans to celebrate the new year with a small family group and encouraged others consider doing the same during this especially challenging window of the pandemic. People should still take it very seriously. Experts also worry that even though most Omicron cases to date are minor, so many active cases now could strain local hospitals later. At area hospitals in just the past week alone, the total number of COVID patients nearly doubled. It is I know a bit of a damper at this time to not be able to enjoy as much as we would like to. But the bottom line is we are in a public health emergency. Now to put things in comparison, last New Year's Eve here in downtown Memphis, bars had to close at 10 o'clock and capacity was only allowed at 25%. Those restrictions are not in play this New Year's Eve and we will likely know in the next week or so the impact that this New Year's Eve had on additional COVID cases. Live in downtown Memphis, I'm Brian Broders reporting.